Seattle City Light is proud to support climate of change. Uncovering new sources of renewable power. Finding innovative ways to be sustainable. The UW is discovering solutions in the ocean, on land, even in the air. They call it the Hoop House. A little nondescript white plastic hut on the University of Washington campus. Inside, you'll find a dripping mass of fog that's full of very good intentions. You ready? We can scale anything up to per unit time and per unit area. With a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, researchers at the UW Biology Department are experimenting with a variety of low-cost nets that capture moisture from fog. The team is manufacturing fog with a machine, trapping moisture from the fog with nets and then converting the moisture into flowing water. Professors Susan Bolton and Ben Spencer became interested in developing this technology when they visited a low-income community on the outskirts of Lima, Peru. Water is scarce there. With just half an inch of rain a year, the area has few trees and very little other vegetation. And the neighborhood isn't connected to Lima's municipal water system. Right now, they're running largely on water that comes from the Andes, from the glaciers that feed the rivers that run through the city that the city has relied on for years. Sooner or later, the glaciers are going to be gone because they're melting very quickly. The tropical glaciers are, are some of the ones that are melting the fastest in the world. They're losing water supply. Their population is growing. They don't have any local water resources available, except that the city is covered with fog for eight months out of the year. That could make a huge difference. Lima's fog, combined with its location near the coast, is ideal for making water. If large-scale nets could be put up to capture moisture from fog, it could greatly improve life there. You really have to have a major body of water and the wind uh, pushing the fog up uh, into the hills. Moving fog is the key component to being able to harvest it. It has to be uh, blowing through the fog collector in order for it to accumulate. It can't be stagnant. Collecting fog effectively is essential. At the UW, it's a multidisciplinary effort with team members coming from engineering, architecture, environmental and forest sciences, and landscape architecture. So we're, we're thinking about how the fog collection is subsequently stored, how it's then used to irrigate vegetation and used subsequently for household use. So we're, we're using fog and the fog collectors to irrigate trees, which in turn can become fog collectors themselves. And then we can collect that drip from the trees um, in these public spaces for other uses.